hi guys welcome to my channel at easy service where we make all survey practices to be easier and educative in this video i want to quickly introduce every one of us to a project which is the route survey so in the course of this video i want to show you all on how to plot your longitudinal profiling using autocad 2021 However, if you are making use of other versions of AutoCAD, be it AutoCAD LAN Desktop 2009, or you are making use of Civil 3D, this video method here I'm going to show you is still going to work for you. All right. So it is a general method for all AutoCAD users in the course of plotting your longitudinal profiling. So I'll be using the auto lips command. So here on my desktop here, I have the two auto lips command. So I have the auto lips command for the profiling. So this is profiling 200 and this is elevation marker. So I am going to take the video step by step approach. All right. So the first thing to do is to launch into your AutoCAD. You start drawing, which is starting a new work environment on it. So I am just going to show you on how to do that in a Jiffy. So this is my data on Excel here. So this is the changes and this is the elevations. So on your route survey for longitudinal profiling, you are expected to have the natural ground elevations and your changes respectively. Okay, so these are my data and this is the data I'll be using in the course of this video. So when you are on your AutoCAD, you are expected to set up your drawing unit. So I'm just going to click on UN and show you the how to set the drawing unit for plotting your longitudinal profiling. So here it is expected to be on decimal, precision should be on three decimals, then your unit length should be on meters. Okay, then here the green minutes and seconds, then here this. And this is all for the unit setup. All right. So this is all for the unit setup. The major or main uh, setup is to do your precision to the, the length precision to three decimal and the unit to be uh, meters. Do we get there? You click on OK. So that's the first thing to do. And the next thing to do is to come to your command line. Then you type app app then enter. So it's going to give you an advantage to navigate to the app you want to upload. So the auto lips command is what I want to use. And this is the tool on my desktop that I've showed you earlier on. All right. So if you are in need of the auto lips um, file too, okay, you should check under this video description, join our WhatsApp group through the link there, then you make your request it is freely given all right all right it is freely given and uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel and make your request thank you so i am going to navigate to my auto lips command on my desktop so it is already on my desktop and that is why it is appearing here if yours after you've gotten it from us or from any other source is on other folders you navigate to that folder through this drop shadow arrow there okay then make sure it is appearing then you click on it it will appear here then you click on load so below you are going to see the see it profiling 200 successfully loaded then you click on close so that is all for that so the next thing to do is to come to your command line and you type pro enter so when you type pro enter it's going to ask you for the first station so according to my excel data here my first station which is my first change point is zero so this is zero plus zero 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 all right so on my command line on autocad i am going to put zero there then click on enter all right the next thing is going to ask you is to enter the first elevation so the first elevation for my first change point is 87.550 so i am going to count my command line then type 87.550 and i'm going to click on enter 
So the next thing it's going to ask is the stationary distance. So according to my route survey, I did on site my intervals were 25 meters intervals all through. So in the case of your own project, be it you actually done your route survey to be on 20 meter intervals or whatsoever intervals, that is what you are going to put here. So in the course of this video, it is 25 meter interval. Then I am going to click on enter. So it is going to plot my grading for me. All right, my grid, vertical grid for me. So the next thing is going to ask of me is to enter the next natural ground elevation. So the natural ground elevation for other stations are from this below here. All right, so from the 25 meters, which is your next chain, change point downward. So I am going to highlight from the beginning of that 25 to the very end, which is plus 650. I'm going to copy and I'm going to come to my AutoCAD command line. Then I am going to paste. So when you do that, it will automatically generate the profiling for that route survey for you. So this is the longitudinal profile based on my data. So when you are done with that, you click on escape on your keyboard. So that is that. So I am just going to zoom to show you how the changes are. Okay. So as you can see, this is zero plus zero zero and this is 87.550. All right respectively so it is increasing 25 meters 50 75 and so on so in the course of other video i am going to show you on how to edit the elevation marker to tally with what we are having and you can actually do some other um, settings some other editing okay by making this continuous okay so when you choose on two um, line you can right click then you go to select similar it's going to select the whole um, similar um, similar feature so you can come to your properties okay and come to layer here then make it continuous all right can you see that so you can make it continuous so you can still come to the um, layer properties here you are going to see other features there you can decide to off and on you can decide to change the color to whatsoever you need okay you can decide to off some layers which like this so as you can see some of the layers this layer the particular one is off and you can decide to on it okay depending on what you want so in subsequent video i'm going to show you on how to edit some of these things to make your job to be finer and presentable thank you for watching please do not forget to make your request through our platform and also subscribe and follow our page on Facebook. Thank you. We hope to see you next time.